Welcome to Fridays at the Front. I'm Will. This is a collaboration between the Shenandoah Valley Battlefield Foundation and Civil War Digital Digest. We want to bring you some great stories out of the valley and encourage you to come here and see it for yourself. Today, I'm at the Battle of Port Republic. June 9, 1862 was the day the battle happened. Behind me is the well-known terrain feature called the Coaling, which Union artillery troops had their guns up on top of. If we turn this direction, we look towards the direction of the Confederate advance and you're facing the way the 5th and 7th Ohio were facing. Lieutenant Colonel Creighton of the 7th had his regiment pointed this direction along the Union line. His men are armed with the antiquated 1816 muskets. These are a relatively short range, 69 caliber smoothbore musket and they're fighting in this direction. He's hidden in a wheat field. Now, a wheat field during the Civil War is not as even as today, and there's varying heights, and it was better for hiding troops in. Well, the goal of combat is to move the enemy, and that's often done from the flanks. So that's what the Confederates do. They get around the left flank of the Ohio boys, and Creighton is forced to give by the left flank march and turn his men so they face this direction and repel the threat. As they do that, General Taylor's troops are sweeping up the coaling, Lieutenant Colonel Creighton and the 5th and 7th Ohio are now in good position to give flanking fire to that attack. The Federals are badly outnumbered and their goal is to retire safely. They do that and the 7th Ohio is part of the rear guard defending the Union Army as they pull away from the Battle of Port Republic. The 7th Ohio will be rearmed with the more modern rifled musket from the 1861 Springfield within a month, but it's those trusty old smoothbores that they use here at the Battle of Port Republic, June 9th, 1862. This field has been preserved by the Shenandoah Valley Battlefields Foundation, and you can come here and gain a better connection to history. I hope you do it. We'll see you next time.